election began today in the high profile trial of a man accused of sodomizing and murdering his little girl. News 5's Allison Spann takes a closer look at how Hawaii Robinson's death affected our community and the case against Hawatha Robinson. Eight year old Hawaii Robinson was last seen at this Pritchard gas station. She was caught on their surveillance cameras buying candy from the store. But where and what Hawaii did after that remains unknown. She was reported missing on September 16, 2014, and her body was found abandoned on Rebel Road in Pritchard, Alabama, two days later. Residents say her tragic murder rattled the community. I got a granddaughter her age, and going to the store by herself, that's a no-no. Coming home in the house by herself, that's a no-no. But perhaps what shocked the community even more was her father, Hiawatha Robinson's arrest. He's charged with murdering and sodomizing her. Someone that was probably in the wrong frame of mind did that and never, you know, I would never think that a father would do that to his daughter. Today, jury selection began in Hiawatha's trial and District Attorney Ashley Rich says the priority right now is to seat a jury. We are um, using all precautions and making sure that we get a fair and impartial jury. And so that's why the four hour will take a couple of days. And Hiawatha's attorney? He believes his client will be acquitted. When people come in here, 80% of the folks sitting there go, he did something or he wouldn't have been indicted. They don't understand the whole process until they get into it, then they pick up on it. But uh, I think by the end of the day that Hiawatha will get a fair trial and he'll be found not guilty. And a jury should be seated by Wednesday and opening arguments will follow. News 5 will be covering the trial and we will have updates on WKRG.com and in all of our newscasts. For now reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Allison Spann for News 5.